Welcome to another Down the Rabbit Hole video. We're going to talk about my wallet, and this is the one I've had for years. Love it to death. What a weird looking design, you must think. Well, of course, it's sort of a Star Wars one formed or inspired by the X-Wing outfit. You got the nice ribbing there, the orange color. I've loved this uh, wallet for many years, but like many a wallet before it, the problem is there's a couple of bills in there too. Excellent. Uh, the problem is it's getting kind of raggedy. I mean, look at the spine on there. That's all creased and cracked. Got threads coming off. You know, every wallet I've had has had a finite lifespan. And this one is definitely at its final days. These, this used to be all white in here. And uh, my dad decided, well, I've got an old wallet or a new one that I'm not using that I don't want. Uh, do you want this? And I thought, well, sure, this looks nice and all. Yeah, I got a, a tri-fold here, might be good. Uh, leathery stuff, and you know, this might be good. I do find um, a problem with these is that I don't like how they fold in three places. All the bills that come out of them don't really, I don't know, I'm not a fan so much. Besides, I, I can't say I'm a huge Levi's fan, so eh, I didn't really like the look of that either. I've looked around at, there's all these people advertising new wallets, you know, where they're like minimalist or edge or there's all these different types of wallets that exist that honestly look kind of dopey to me. Like, it's great that we live in a world where nobody has cash anymore and you're all just fist bumping your wallet with your buddy to exchange money through Google Pay or Apple Wallet or whatever. But I'm old school and I want to have some bills in my wallets. I don't like these new designs where it's like, oh, you just, you know, you've got a, a bill clip for those one or two $20 bills that you're carrying. No, no, no. I want to carry lots of bills. Look at that. I got a couple of fives and is there a 10 in there? Oh, there's a 10 in there too. Like I'm, I'm old school. I need to hold bills in my wallet. None of these modern ones are actually going to work. So forget it. However, I saw advertised a wallet and I was immediately in love with it. And I thought, oh, that looks like a wallet from the future. And I got it. This is the wallet I use now. This is the Travex Venture Billfold. Right there, it says on the cover, 20 bill capacity. This thing will hold bills and it'll hold coin uh, cards, and it does it in a really cool way, and it looks like it's futuristic. I love the look of this thing. So I've actually had it for a while. Just thought I'd show you. This is what it comes in for packaging. Um, it's even got a little uh, you know hang in there. Here's some pointers and stuff like that. We'll get to that in a second. But this is a wallet from the future. I absolutely love this thing. I just first of all I like the design. It looks very futuristic this big chunky bit of metal here and when loaded up and i'll do that in a second you can you can slide cards out of it just like those uh, edge wallets or whatever but this one has some very nice features let me load it up here here is the standard orientation for my travax uh this blue thing here is what we use in vancouver it's called a compass card and we use these for uh, it's like an orange card in London or whatever. You swipe it to use transit and all that kind of stuff. And you see, it slides right out or in. Like it's very conveniently got that kind of, oh, I need a card. You just slide with your thumb. Boom, there you go. You need another card underneath. Boom, there you go. What's that? Uh, uh, president's choice. Yeah, like it's it's got that sliding capability of the cards that everybody's trying to sell off as a feature for, for these modern cards. Great, but the killer app, the absolute thing that I love the most, it opens up like a normal wallet. You can keep a few more cards there, like your Blockbuster video card. That'll be useful. And you can keep bills back here. There's actually a spot for your cash. Yeah. Look at that. Now, I'm, I'm in Canada, so these are Canadian bills for anybody who's watching and looking and wondering what's with all the colors. It's like, yeah, in Canada, we have very, very colorful uh, money. But yes, I can put my bills in here. My old school requirement of having a standard wallet, you know, like, like the old Star Wars one there where I could put my money inside here. I can do that in here like a normal old wallet. Keep a few more uh, cards standing by if I so desire. 
and then when not in use, the whole thing clips closed. Like it's actually got a couple of magnets holding it there. I can, I can wiggle it about. It will not open. It will if I push down, open it up. Like it's got a little hinge sort of a thing here. Two very small magnets. Get back to those in a second. And when you close it, it will actually snap shut. Now, I one small thing for anybody who's thinking of buying this thing in Canada, Canadian bills do tend to stick up out of it. I think American bills might not do so. And if you're over in Europe, I don't know if the Euro would. I do have such bills. Maybe I could model those for you if so desired. But I'll just see if I can get that in. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit... For Canadian money, it's not perfect. They do stick out. But the thing that's really great is... I can just slide this out as I need it, swipe my card, don't have to open up the actual bill uh, wallet, and then just slide it back in. And it actually, so it has, it has that kind of action. You can, with your thumb, press forward, and whatever card you need, you can retrieve it very easily, and then when you're done, slide it back in, and that's a great um, compromise, if you will, for those modern edge type things where it's all, some are, some are even like a ammunition clip for a rifle or something like that. Silly to me, but whatever. This thing though, it looks like it's from the future and it acts like it's from the future. It's got, it holds bills, it holds cards, and when you're finished with it, it snaps into place. It snaps shut. I love that thing. This is a great great wallet. Very durable, nice leather, very good, you know, riveting. The stitching is fantastic. In fact, ironically, when I was watching reviews of this thing, let me see if I can get those bills to behave themselves. There we go. That's a lot better. Now you can see it. It does look very nice and compact. Um, and I really like that opening up feature. Now you could keep probably a few more cards in there. I've watched a few reviews online as far as like what's the maximum you can stuff. Maybe three would go in there comfortably. Um, and in this one, it holds three quite nicely so you can slide them all out. May, any more than that, you might be getting a little bit cramped. So we're talking six cards nice and conveniently. How many bills do I have in here right now? We got one, two, eight, nine. So there's nine in there right now and it's opening and closing very easily. So yeah, like say 10 bills. I think the, the cover says 20 maximum. Where is it here? Uh, da, da, da. 20 bill capacity, magnetic closure, which I'll get to in a second, premium leather, 65 year warranty. So this thing is gonna last. It's made in the USA. It's um, a rather pricey wallet, but you know what? I think this thing is gonna last me for the rest of my days. And I'm very, very pleased with this. Like this is, Good, solid construction. This isn't going to go anywhere. I like it. And it looks like it's from the future. A couple of things that had me a little bit concerned when I first saw this. I thought, okay, that's a neat sort of design. It says Travax on the edge. That's a neat design. It looks futuristic. I like the convenience of being to slide your cards out and stuff like that. However, it's being held with magnets. And you're going to put your credit card in there? What are you nuts now? I will not be holding up a credit card for obvious uh, privacy reasons. But let's say hypothetically these were credit cards in here. Isn't that dangerous having them right near a couple of magnets? No, it is not. I have actually had this thing for several weeks now and I've put it through its paces and it's never nuked a card. Now, the compass card, I was the, that was the one I was the most concerned about because I had read for reviews of this thing before I bought it, I thought, eh, it's gonna wipe my cards clean with those magnets there. And apparently on their website, they say no. Um, Hard-coded magnetic uh, strips like you get on credit cards, they are not gonna have a problem. Soft coated magnetic cards like you get for a hotel room. Those ones might have an issue. And I haven't been to a hotel for quite a few years, but the next time I am, I'm gonna get a hotel card. I'm gonna rub it up against the uh, the magnets in there and just see what we get, see if it actually nukes it. Uh, this compass card, I was thinking, well, that's, I don't know what kind that is because it's not magnetic. What is in this thing? And I stumbled across a uh, teardown. Somebody had actually got not this card, but 
the paper ones that are dispensed here in Vancouver, and they actually ripped the thing open and discovered inside, at least the paper one, I assume in this plastic one as well, is this antenna grid thing and a tiny little microchip that actually does the signaling. And I thought, if it's an antenna with a microchip, as opposed to a magnetically stored piece of information, theoretically this should be okay. And what I've done is I actually decided that when I when I took the plunge, when I stuck this in here with my, normally I got my bank cards in here. Again, I'm not keeping it in with this. Uh, but I thought, okay, I'm going to take the plunge. I will travel with the Travax and I will actually make sure this thing slides in and out and in and out past those magnets a lot. It has worked fine. No problems at all. So if you have any kind of a card that is like this design with the sort of antenna design in there, you'll be fine with that as well. I haven't quite had the guts. Let's, let's imagine this is my uh, credit card. I haven't quite had the guts yet to do that against the magnets. I thought, uh, I'm, I don't really want to just destroy my credit card for the sake of a video. So, um, I can attest though, I have kept my credit card in here for weeks and it has never had a problem. Same with my bank cards. Again, I'm not going to show that here, but my bank cards have been fine within that proximity of those magnets. No problem at all. The compass card I have slid in and out multiple times. No problem at all. So I can at least to some degree attest that this thing is good and it's not going to nuke those kinds of cards. I would love to test and see if I can get this damn bill back in here. I'm going to test the next time I go somewhere where I'm staying in a hotel. I'm going to put the hotel card right up against, well, one of the two cards. I'm going to put it right up against that magnet and see, does that actually erase the data? Because that's, that's probably the only thing that would be a danger of this. But I will say... This thing works fantastic. It's actually smaller than I had anticipated. That was another thing I was going to say. Here's my Star Wars wallet, and here's the Trayvac side by side. It's actually smaller. Look at that. Like, I thought to myself when I saw these reviews online, I thought, this thing is enormous. No, it's actually smaller than this wallet. Let's get out that, that Levi's one. These are what I would describe. Both of these guys here are what I would describe as your standard pocket size wallet. Normal size, nothing particular. These aren't humongous or, or, or large or anything like that. And the Travax is actually smaller than them. Look at that. If I make sure those are level. Yeah, that's, it's slightly smaller that way. Definitely smaller. Let's do it this way. Definitely smaller that way. It is not... The huge thing, if you if you check some reviews online, go and check this out. A lot of people have been talking about the Travax. If you watch reviews, you would think this thing is huge and chunky and like the size of a, I don't know, a door stopper that's in your uh, pocket. It's not. It's actually a very decent size compared to other wallets. So there we go. Yes, that is my Travax Billfold wallet made in the USA from the future. I love this thing. I really recommend it. If you're looking for something that's eye-catching, gonna, you know, get people talking. If you if you go to some some event or, you know, if you want to pay the bill at the restaurant or something, you take out your credit card, you make your purchase, and then you just clip it away and put that in your pocket. People will be like, hey, where'd you get that wallet? And you can tell them, from the future. All right. Well, that's it for now. Until next time, we'll see you down the rabbit hole.